Welcome back to Pro Wrestling Battleground Breakout TV. Hi, Rob. Hi, Kyle. Uh, you already did the intro? I already did All the right. intro. All yeah. right. You know I can't hear anything? Yeah. Uh, we got uh, some uh, big hoss fight here. Yeah. A couple of big meaty men. Slapping meat. There's a big E special right here. A couple of big old, a couple of hosses. <laughs> I'll see some sassafras in this one. Uh, just a lot of heavy, heavy hands, that's for sure. And two heavy of the, shoulder blocks. Two of the bigger men that we have here on oh. Pro Wrestling Battleground. Two in our big boy division. Yep. And as, like I said, it's, it's more just the fact that Paul Reed is just such a hard striker. Yeah. Like... That's what it, you know, he's a little bit smaller than War, obviously. Yep. But you know he makes up for that with that explosiveness. He's a he's a thick boy who can hit and he can strike quick. And Lore, well, I'll be perfectly honest. I don't know if you're aware of this. Lore scares me. Yeah. No, I I've seen he, like he, every time he does you do his intro. I don't like it. He just looms over you, oh. and I can tell the fear. It, in your eyes. It makes me uncomfortable, more so than fear. Yeah. I, I don't I don't like him standing right over me. You know, I don't I don't know what he's doing back there. Yeah. It's like when mom's in the kitchen. I, I never know what she's doing back there. Yeah. Not that I live with mom, but you know, you know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. Oh. Right to the midsection. A rematch from a couple of months ago. We've seen these two face off. A couple of times here at Pro Wrestling Battleground. Yeah, they fought like all over the Blue Saloon one time. Yes, they did. Oh, caught with the choke slam, like caught in the choke at least. But imagine this could be a this could be a very big win here in Pro Wrestling Battleground for Paul Reed here. Yeah, now he's had some success elsewhere. Yeah, Moore is a former tag team champion, a former breakout champion. Yep. And you know, Moore has been very successful here at Pro Wrestling Battleground. Paul Reed's had some wins. He's definitely got some wins under his belt. Won a couple of tag team matches when he was a part of a tag team. Won a few singles, but he never had that big singles win here. That defining win that could elevate him into a championship contendership. 
And a win over a guy like Lore could definitely change that. I don't think that's going to happen if he keeps eating drop kicks like that from the big man, though. Yeah. Well, the fact that he's moving after that drop kick says is a lot, though, because there are not many people here who can take that drop kick from Lore no. and get back up. No. Very, very few. Very few could get back up after a drop kick like that. Paul Reed now being druggled. It looked like he was being drug over by his beard. Yeah. Like not quite underhanded tactics, but just the, 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 the pulling the hair. Yeah, pull the hair. But just the thing that you would see in a bar fight. I mean, sure you would. Yeah. I'll be perfectly honest. And I don't, I don't like going to bars. Yeah. I like to drink, but I don't like going to bars. Yeah. Like if, if I were in a bar fight, I'm sure someone, the first thing they would do is grab onto yeah. this. This, this growth on my face. Oh, right on the side of the arm. Take away one of the weapons. Working over the left arm. Yeah, take away those weapons. Big clothesline there by Lore. Now he's just multiple clotheslines in the corner. Just using his brute strength to his advantage. Oh! And there, there was what we were talking about earlier with Paul Reed. The strikes. Yeah, the strikes. Like he probably has. Oh, well. Doesn't really matter right now because he just ate a big old clothesline yeah, from was, Lore. I was going to say that he might have the quickness advantage, but Lore is deceptively quick himself. Yes, he is. Oh, this is. All to, that's insulting. That was an insulting cover right there. Yeah, just a one count from the referee, James Durden. Of course, it was just a one count. I didn't even have any body weight on him. Oh, big right, right to hand. The side of the head. Right in the chin. Just two, just a two count though. Two says referee James Durden. I, I thought Paul Reed was out after that. It, lo it looked like he got all of that punch. If you notice, Moore kept his body weight on Paul Reed. Make him spend more energy on those kickouts. Uh oh! Well, here comes the choke slam. Nope. Oh, headbutt! And we're right to the sternum, too. Back elbow. Big boot. Paul Reed now coming back with some uh, with some offense here in the form of some strikes. Oh, there, oh. there was that quickness we talked about. Oh, block that punch. Looks like Paul Reed's going to the top right. I don't know about this. This is a dangerous place. Yep. Like I said, that was dangerous. Yeah, went for that big shoulder block, but was met midair. And now Lord's just going to roll him over. Here we go. One, two, and oh. two count only. Just a, yeah, just a two count. Huh. Interesting. Reed fighting back here. Oh, I, listen, I'm not. I'm not discrediting Paul Reed at all. I'm just saying that was interesting that he decided to kick out, or was able to kick out even. It's just, he's got a lot of fight left in him. Uh oh. I don't like this at all. These two big men up on at least the middle rope. This is a bad, bad situation right here. We reinforced the ring, right? Uh, listen, I don't get here early enough to see that. That's true. Got him. Oh, Hangman's neck breaker. Paul Reed, though, smartly going to the outside. A very wise idea to roll to the outside. Extremely it, smart. It all was on instinct, clearly, because he's out on, well, not his feet, but. I know, I, it's, a, it's cliche, of course. Cliche, of course, yes. Of course, he's not out on his feet, but he is out of it. And that was just instinctively rolling outside. Uh-oh. Big Paul Reed into the wall now. And now well, we're going to have to buy this place a new wall one of these days. One of these days. I'm surprised it's held up as long as it has. Me too. Now just Laura going for the count out. Uh, it's smart. It's smart. You can get Paul Reed counted out. Easier than pinning the man. Yeah, especially when you throw him in against the wall of the building. We're at seven. He is barely starting to move now. We're at a nine count. Nine. 
And he somehow barely made it back in. That was about as close as he can get. Just crossed the plane of that bottom rope by the time the 10 count would have happened. I do question Paul Reed coming back in at nine and three quarters. He doesn't want, he like, he's got too much fight in him. Oh, our Lord was just kind of pissing him off right up there. You can see yeah. that. Just pie facing him. All these two big guys are just trading bombs. Stand up shots, he blocked that one. Now he's gonna rattle off a few of them in a row. Oh! Got him with a big yeah, forearm. Big collision there. Now lore. Big old spine buster. Spine buster. One, two, he did not get him. Just a two count. Did not have the body weight on the shoulders. That was almost a desperation spine buster, but it was an amazing counter. I think it was a desperation pin more th more so than anything else. So like I said, he oh big knee to the side of the head. Lore still not out though. I don't know if he's not out or if he's just not down. Big back elbow. That one took him down though. Lore couldn't defend himself on that. Somehow Lore was able to kick out. Just a two count from James Durden. Laura is moving considerably slower than he was at the beginning of the match. He's taking a lot of punishment here. Not nearly as much as Paul Reed, yeah, but yeah, you are 100% right. He's got a big man up. Uh-oh. Oh, here comes that choke slam. Right in the center of the ring. One, two. Just a two, two count only. I, you can that clearly one. see, I yeah. had my hand yeah. on the microphone. Yeah, you had your hand on the microphone. Our timekeeper had his hand on the bell. You're just sitting there. I'm just sitting here doing nothing. With your hands on your face. He's got him up. What's he gonna go for? It doesn't usually, matter because he got out of it. That's usually the setup for the cemetery gates. Big power slam. One, two. He kicked. How did he? I didn't. I don't know about that, Durden. No. I do. Well, referee's call is final. Yeah, referee's call is final. He says Laura kicked out. Paul Reed. Sizing him up for something. Looks like he's going for another. Another power, power, slam. power slam. One, two. Three, that one does it. And your winner of the match, Paul Reed. Big, big win for Paul Reed here at Pro Wrestling Battleground.